your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. Another pretty decent day for us across the wire grass. A lot of sunshine, some high clouds and the humidity was down once again, so it didn't feel super sticky outside. That is going to change, though, as we look forward to the next couple of days. In fact, the hottest air that we've seen so far this year is on the way. We're talking about temperatures in the upper 90s to the low 100s. Feels like temperatures upper 90s to about 105 degrees, so we're getting ready for it. It is not here quite yet. In fact, a pretty decent weather pattern overhead. We have surface high pressure well to our north. That has a clockwise flow, so that brings our winds here in the wire grass out of the north and northeast. All the shower and thunderstorm activity is confined well to our south across parts of Florida. So here it is. The dew points are in the 60s. Hard to get this time of the year. 62 degree dew points in Ozark, 65 in Enterprise, 63 in Dothan. And then of course, the further you go closer to the coastline, those dew points rise into the upper 60s, but really tolerable numbers. Upper 80s to low 90s for temperatures about what we would expect for this time of the year. It's 89 degrees in Dothan. 90 right now in Ozark, 86 in Abbeville. Blakely is at 88. Donaldsonville is at 90 degrees and some more low 90s here across the panhandle. So this evening, if you're heading out for dinner, things are looking pretty good. We're partly cloudy, just a few more high level clouds passing on by. No rain to worry about. Tomorrow morning, though, the humidity is going to start to increase. So we start off warmer than this morning. We're looking at some low 70s out the door and temperatures are going to be a couple of degrees hotter as well. Let me set the stage for you, show you what I'm talking about with the weather setup for the rest of this week. We're going to start here on Friday, one of the hottest days of the week. This ridge of high pressure is going to build across parts of the south and into the mid south and kind of just hang out Friday and Saturday. It shoves any of the showers and thunderstorms offshore, so I think we're dealing with a mainly dry day and it sticks around until Sunday. Then it finally moves off the coast. That kind of opens up the door for some more showers and thunderstorms, maybe some tropical moisture as well. We'll be keeping an eye on that, but here it is. Your high temperatures for the next seven days. Obviously, the days that stand out here are going to be Friday, 98 degrees, 99 on Saturday. Even Father's Day is going to be hot in the mid 90s for us. An update on the tropics, kind of what we were talking about yesterday. There is that invest that's now spinning across southern Florida, bringing some torrential rain to Miami. Some reports of major flooding ongoing there this evening. This invest is going to head out to sea here off the coast of the Carolinas. 20% chance of tropical development over the next seven days. We're also watching a new area that's expected to get going here off parts of the Bay of Campeche, and you can see it has a 30% chance of development in the next seven days. Don't think we're going to see anything anytime soon, meaning the next 48 hours, but it will be something definitely to watch down the line. There is your steamy extended forecast, 93 degrees on Thursday. Also wanted to mention there's a 20% chance of a pop up shower on Thursday afternoon, though most of us stay dry. The big weather story here for us locally heading into the weekend is going to be the heat, and this is serious heat too. I know we're used to it around here, but we start talking about the heat index 105 or more. It can definitely be dangerous. Oh yeah, it feels totally different than lower 90s, upper 80s. Absolutely, oh, like different. what we have outside right now. Yep. Yeah, it's going to change. Well, it's going to be hot, but smooth jazz is taking